up, girl. Hey, look at there. That's a man says it's the end of time. And the Mississippi River, she's a gold dry. The interest is up and the stock market's down. And you're only getting mugged if you go down. My name is Mike. I wanted to thank you for taking the time to check out my video. I'm making the video in response to uh, quite a few emails I've been receiving recently. The weather's getting warm, people are out fishing, and they need bait. Bottom line. Uh, I thought that I explained the, the trap and how it works on my, my prior video, but apparently it wasn't real clear, so I'm going to take a second attempt at it here. I hope it helps, and I hope you guys are interested. So uh, this particular trap is called the four-leaf clover perch trap, and you can see by its shape it sort of resembles the four-leaf clover. It has four compartments on either side, and you know there's nothing separate in the four compartments. It's just a wide open in the center. Um, if you look here, each, each side of the wire is bent, and this is going to act as a funnel to get the fish to go to the middle of that trap. That middle is where your bait's going to be, and I'll, I'll explain all that here in just a second, but uh, the goal here is to funnel the fish into the trap and not have them swim around the outside pecking at your food through the cage. But this particular trap is going to measure uh, 24 inches up the side, 24 inches across the top, and it is a 12 inch width on this trap. We make smaller traps. I actually prefer a smaller trap, but this, this one here will hold all the bait that you want to hold. Um, so back to these bends in the wire. If you see here, all the wires are bent here and uh, they act like a funnel and in the middle of each funnel there's an opening so the fish will come along the side trying to get to this bait trying to find it they'll swim down into it go through the opening here and get stuck in the trap in the middle of your trap you're gonna have a bait compartment and in my opinion this is the only way to do a trap is to keep your bait in the middle a lot of people won't put this in the center they'll have the bait just kind of floating around wherever they want in the trap and so if I have bread and thrown it in here bread's gonna float with water and so it's gonna be up here on the top or it's gonna be down here in the corner somewhere it'll just be moving around the fish can peck at it from the outside and eat all your bait without getting in with this bait compartment in the middle there's no way for them to get the bait unless they get in the trap which is what you want the way this thing works you just pull the string down open up the door you can load your bait in here, bread, dog food. We used chicken and some dog food last night. We only soaked it for 10 hours, but we caught around 30 perch that have been good for, you know, a couple trot lines. Um, typically, you want to leave it in there 24 hours, maybe even longer. Uh, there's no telling what I could have done had I led, left this there for two days. But So it was, it was a pretty good soak for the time we had it in there. And next question, people say, well, how do you get the fish out once they're in? And down here on the bottom... There's another door held by another elastic band. You just open up the band here. Fish are going to come right out of there, no problem. So I put it here on the bottom corner because you don't want to have to be reaching into this trap and cut yourself up to get the, this bait out. All you got to do is open the door, turn the trap on its side, and all the fish will fall right here and you just pour them out. Real easy to use, no cutting, nothing like that. Keep your arms and stuff from getting all scratched up. Uh, Last thing about the construction of the trap, the trap is made up of 19 gauge, one half by one half inch mesh. You know, you may think this mesh is a little bit flimsy, but this is one solid piece all the way around it. So whenever you, it's all put together, this trap is a real sturdy trap. It's not going to bend on you or anything like that. It's a real sturdy trap. Um, the clips on the trap here are made of stainless steel. They're not going to rust. This trap is not going to fall apart. It has It's galvanized uh, mesh. The only way I would say it would fall apart is if you're using it in salt water all the time. You know, if you plan to use it in salt water, just rinse it off when you're done with it after a use, no big deal. Um, you know, if you're using it repeatedly in salt water, then you might have an issue. And we make vinyl coated traps for that use. But uh, as far as lakes and ponds, this is a perfect way to go. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope I explained everything well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video there. Uh, and if you want to uh, know more about the trap, don't hesitate to email me. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Alright, so here we are. Earlier uh, I explained on how to, how to use the perch trap. And I wanted to come down here and show you a demonstration of how it works. So if your fish trap or your bait trap isn't working, you should try mine. I soaked this last night. It's been here about 10, 10 11 hours. It's a little community pond.
all my baits going for the most part. All my baits going. But uh, you can see I got really, really nice sized fish in here. These are perfect for trot lining, for noodling, whatever it is that you want to do. But um, actually, I'm going to throw these guys back, but I wanted to show you what size of fish we're talking about catching here. It's going to go in a trot line real nice. Perfect hand size, beautiful perch, sunfish, with brim, whatever you want to call them. These are going to be great bait for any type of sport fish you want to catch. But uh, anyway, I thought I would show you. I bet there's two dozen, almost 30 perch in there. But uh, if you're interested, email me, let me know, and uh, see if we can work a deal. Thanks for looking.